a short lesson on painting mountains in oil or acrylic with Len Hend. Mountains can be painted in any colour. It is the tone that's important. Very pale tones in the background and darker tones in the foreground. On a usual blue day, we have blue mountains in the distance and grey green in the foreground. I like to paint my mountains using cobalt blue. So I'll put some cobalt blue on about where I want the distant mountain, then puddle around with white and push it up into the shape of the mountain. This way you can mix your tones as you work. You want a very pale tone for the distant mountain. You can add the white to the bottom of the mountain and then move it up into the mountain, ensuring that the top ridge line is darker than the body of the mountain. Then as you move forward, add a little bit of crimson. You can puddle this around in the bottom of the mountain and move it up into the mountains. As your mountains come towards you, they get darker and darker. But, of course, not too dark. We'll save the very darks for the foreground mountains and the trees in front of them. You can practice this by making your mountains up as you're going along. I'm painting Mount Warning here that's quite a strange looking mountain. You might have a favourite mountain and want to follow the shape of it. But when you're painting mountains, try to keep pleasant curves. Now we have our distant mountains finished and our foreground mountain blocked in, we need to add the sunlight to the foreground mountain. The technique of painting the trees on the mountain is quite difficult. You might want to leave your mountains as a background mountains. The colour is raw sienna, a little bit of white, very little bit of grey and a very, very little bit of viridian green. Grey is mainly cobalt blue, a little bit of crimson and a very little bit of raw sienna. I like to use a size 12 round hog bristle brush which I saturate with paint to make it like putty and I load it with a little bit of grey on one side and the other side with the green that we've mixed. Then by dabbing the brush on almost perpendicular you'll get little trees in the sunlight effect and if you get a few dull ones that's alright, that's the shadow on the mountain. Go down each side and follow the shape of the mountain all the time. Now remember at this stage we're making it up as we go along. We're not copying anything perfectly. Always work from the top of the mountain down the mountain towards you and as you come forward your trees can become bigger and your brush strokes a bit more forceful and with a dry brush with a little bit of white on you can dab out the dark spots and put mist into the mountain. This will take your mountain back and give you good perspective in your painting. Well, I hope you enjoyed that very compact lesson and I hope to see you again.